Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday, October 18th. So, hope everyone's had a good weekend. And let's uh, let's start out, just look at a week that was, and then we'll just try to look ahead here to see what's coming up this week. We've got some earnings, obviously, election looming, and uh, virus cases increasing, so lots of stuff to provide a bit of volatility. So let's see where we are right now. Pre-market's looking like we're going to open in the green after that bit of a sell-off we had on Friday. We still managed to stay green, so yeah, it's going to be a, another interesting week, undoubtedly. So let's start out, go through some of the charts that uh, happened over the last week. We can see here, starting out like we do with uh, transports, and you can see here, down day on Friday, RSI is starting to weaken up here. Uh, looks like we put in a double top on the transports. Again, we like to see the transports confirm moves higher in the indexes. Volume pretty light. Um, stochastics kind of hanging in there. So not a great looking chart for a daily. Let's take a look at what we got for the weekly. Oops, going the wrong way here. Sorry about that. Transports, again, a bit of an uh, indecision candle or a reversing candle actually on the on the weekly chart. So uh, the only could say is the volume was light on the transports. Again, uh, stochastics still looking like they're hooking up, but uh, again, we're probably getting into an area here we may just start chopping sideways going into the election and uh, as we churn our way through earnings. See the Dow again, big reversal day on Friday. Sold off into the close. Let's see a look on the week again, sort of an indecision candle on the week. Um, RSI kind of flattening out here. Volume was on the week was actually up a little bit. Stochastics are turning up, so a bit of a mixed signals there. And the Qs again, we've seemed to have put in a top and now maybe a, a bit of a lower high here. So our size uh, running off a little bit here. Stochastics turning lower. Q's not looking great, eh? Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Again, a bit of a reversing candle here after some another looks like we put in a bit of a double top. And again, on volume, so that's always something we look for to, for confirmation of a move. So <clears throat> some decent volume on this reversing candle. So the queue's looking a little bit a uh, little bit vulnerable here for more of a pullback. The spy again, weekday on Friday, ended up in the red. Again, stochastics heading lower. Volume was pretty decent on a daily. Let's see what it looks like on a week. Again, bit of an indecision candle, right back up at this uh, previous high, and we pulled back from it. Looked like we broke higher and then pulled back from it. Again, volume a little bit more than the prior week. Um, yeah, so a little bit of choppy action. Maybe we're going to have some, basically some chop in the next two days. See how we get through earnings. Again, IWM finished down on the day just slightly. Stochastics RSI rolling over a little bit. On a week, again, we're, we're up into an area where we have some uh, prior Prior resistance, bit of a double top here. <clears throat> volume, you can all I can say is uh, volume was light on the week on. So a bit of a mixed bag on the indexes. And the ten year, the treasury, you can see here we had a we had a definitely had a big surge higher breakout. And this is a pretty typical pattern. You can see here we had we had the break to a new high breakout and then we had the pullback so this is pretty typical so <clears throat> I would be looking for this to move uh, back up continue to move higher as the TL as the um, the bonds the prices actually drop yields will go up so maybe as we get closer to the election uh, people are seeing more risk and uh, in the in the US uh, dollar and uh, treasuries so they're going to be looking for more yield and uh, we'll yeah we'll see what happens here, but uh, looks like we're bouncing back here on the stochastics RSI, maybe going higher. So keep an eye on the yields. <clears throat> Be looking for them to go higher again. We had this pullback, and now it looks like we're going to go higher. Uh, the dollar 
again, we're just kind of stuck to a range mount here on the daily. We didn't do much. And uh, again, we're back at the transports. So before we move on here, let's take a quick look at the sectors that were uh, in play and uh, out of play, let's say. And you can see here, spy office down, but uh, discretionary took a big hit on uh, Friday along with the communications. And it looks like we're putting in a bit of a double top here, a uh, bit of a topping pattern here, XLK, same thing. So they're kind of reflective of what we were talking about with the Qs, putting in a higher low. Um, industrials, bit of a reversing candle there. But uh, if you uh, go with the, you know, the, the thought that <clears throat> possibly uh, Biden wins the election, then there's going to be a lot of infrastructure spending. And that's why, of course, all the um, green energy plays have been taking a big run. The, uh, the car companies, the companies like, um, um, like Bloom and Plug, uh, hydrogen companies, all been taking a big run up. In anticipation of that possibly happening we don't know that for sure but you can see here some of the inter sectors that did really well um, again utilities just uh, remaining strong here again and that seems to be energy just still in moving averages still trending lower just still terrible um, maybe healthcare getting a bit of a bid here so that's the uh, the sectors in a nutshell Let's take a look at some stuff I'm keeping an eye on anyway at this point. You can see here, um, this is an ETF called ARC and it's the innovation. I think they've got a lot of um, sort of cutting edge that's like the new FANG or the next FANG stocks. Um, so it's, a, it's an accumulation of those types of stocks. You can check out what exactly is in this uh, ETF, but I think I know Square is in there. Square is one of them. Um, and you've got a couple bunch of other ones that aren't uh, FANG names, but uh, considered to be the next FANG. So this is kind of an interesting um, innovation ETF to keep an eye on if we get a bit of a more of a pullback here. Again, I think it's pretty heavily technology based. So um, right now, indicators aren't looking that great on it, but uh, just keep an eye on it. Uh, that one. <clears throat> Ballard, again, one of the ones that are it's been showing some strength. These are the original hydrogen guys, and uh, you know I know plugs had a big run, but uh, these are the original hydrogen innovators, and uh, they got up here, and now they're doing a bit of a pullback. Uh, our size heading lower, so not looking that great right now. MACD rolling over, um, stochastics rolling over. Uh, DraftKings was something that somebody asked me about, so I thought I'd do a review of this one. Uh, you can see here there's some prior resistance, prior resistance, kind of where we broke out from here. So we are right back down into this area where there should be some support. So actually this 44 area, if it can hold this uh, sort of 44 area, I would say that would probably be a pretty decent area to take an entry on this. Um, this 40 is where the next uh, support is going to be if we do tend to lose this. Um, this 44, 43 and a half level. And you can see here we've already lost this uh, 50 moving average and there's a whole lot of, you know, airspace down here to 40, another 10%. And if we lose, there should be some significant support here because that's where we did the breakout. And that's where a lot of people got in. But now you're going to have a fair amount of overhead resistance because of all these people that have bought in. Some of them are still probably in the stock. And uh, so <clears throat> volume's been rising on this sell-off. But again, something to keep an eye on. Well, the low of the day here was 43.50. So I would see how we trade tomorrow. Maybe if we start to get some bottoming action, it might actually be a decent entry to take because uh, DraftKings, I believe, is in that ARK ETF too, by the way. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it is. So just keeping an eye on gold, again, I think uh, I still think gold might have a run in it when we uh, get through the election here. But uh, right now it's looking pretty weak, and I think in the pre-market here it's it's pretty flat on the day. But the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the indicators aren't looking great on this, so we may have some more weakness here on GDX. 
JKS was another one that one of my our readers uh, reached out to me and asked me about. Um, obviously, an incredible daily chart. Again, running up on the um, on the screen. Um, green energy initiative <clears> then <throat> you, you can see here we're really overbought on even on a daily chart and I'm guessing on a weekly we're quite overbought too <clears throat> yeah we're up almost 90 on the weekly RSI volume has been huge on this it just seems like a you know if you haven't been involved in it <clears throat> you know it's just this is not a great time to step into into this stock um, and the, you know it's a lot of FOMO here if you've missed this big run. But um, again, um, I I just uh, I'd be reluctant to step into it here. Um, yeah, but it has had a beautiful run. It doesn't mean it's not going to go higher. But stocks that look like this often reach a a point and then they uh, then they reverse uh, hard. And uh, maybe that uh, reversal will be the opportunity to get in. And again, it's uh, a lot of this run up has been based on um, this whole green uh, energy thing. But if uh, the election results don't turn out the way people are thinking they're going to turn out, um, you know, this this could be, you know, a, an incredible short. Um, so here's another one I keep an eye on. It still looks still looks strong it's got this big gap to fill here 370 looks like we've got a bit of an area here for some uh, for summer support down at two 270 um, get in here it could uh, get a buck out of it MDT looks like it's just ready to break out here and we did uh, we did some nice volume didn't get much of a pullback on Friday even though the markets did come off their highs significantly so I think MDT looks like it's gonna go higher here so I'd be watching that one for a break a breakout. Uh, silver, sort of same comment as gold. We seem to be coming into a, a bit of a pennant here. Connect the bottoms of these candles, tops of these candles. We're narrowing into a pretty pretty um, narrow trading range here, so we'll see. Keep an eye on that, which way it breaks. But uh, again, things seem to be looking a little bit weak on the silver side. Square, putting in some topping action here right now, but again, we get, might get a bit of a pullback and uh, and then just keep an eye on that one because it may start to break uh, break higher again after we do some consolidation, maybe do a bit of a pullback to 180. And uh, nothing much happening on the uh, <clears throat> on the oil side right now. It just seems to be chopping in a range. But um, you know, if the economy starts to improve, maybe we'll have a bit of a breakout. Um, VLDR was one I was looking at here. It's had a pretty significant pullback and we're getting into what looks like a double bottom here. So tradable double bottom, if we can hold 16, um, we might end up starting to head back up again here. You can see here, stochastics really oversold. Maybe MACD is starting to turn up here. So we'll be keeping an eye on that one. Okay, so before we wrap things up, let's take a look at what the earnings are on deck this week. Tesla, big one, obviously. Netflix should be interesting. We've got Intel, IBM, Snap, uh, Coca-Cola. So lots of interesting, um, lots of interesting companies. We've got a throw in a cruise line, an airline, uh, a gambling, Las Vegas Sands. So yeah, it'll be an interesting week. American Express. Uh, Southwest so lots of stuff coming on deck uh, and based on what's been going on there should be some a lot of positive uh, I think some earnings upside surprises but uh, we'll see how the market takes it all so anyway we'll uh, hopefully see you all in the bear bull trading room in the morning 830 pre-market show starts and then we'll be trading the market Day trading at 9.30 when the market opens. And this is my book on Amazon, How to Swing Trade, if you haven't checked it out. Great, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Bye for now.